So, uh, three years of, of hard work, three years of non-stop stress, passion, determination, and cluelessness to what still lied ahead, all comes to a head tonight. Uh, we will either be deemed bold new pioneers or bold foolish fools. Yesterday was a good time. We did the, the news and, and yesterday was non-stop. By the time everyone stopped to take a breath, they just, we, we crashed. Uh, this morning we're getting ready to repaint the RV to get rid of the anticipation ads and, and now have them as out now, watch now, um, uh, available now ads on the, on the TPH mobile. So the ride back, people can see that, yes, the movie's out now. Uh, I, I, I tend to, until the moment arrives, not even think about the moment, do everything it takes to build up to it, to, to prepare for it, to be ready for it. And then before the moment even happens, I'm looking forward to what needs to be done for everything else. But this one's a little different. It started to hit me right when I woke up this morning. Is, uh, as I've been saying all morning already, it feels like this date has been moving parallel with us for, for some time now that we haven't been getting any closer, and now all of a sudden it's here. I can't think of really a better place in Buffalo to have it than the Moose Lodge. I mean, there's a reason I named my company Gratwick Films. There's a reason some of these people have been my friends my entire life. And uh, we're going to celebrate it there, right in the heart of Gratwick, right with the people that that I grew up uh, counting as my family. And that, that means a lot to me personally. Um, I don't know, tonight, tonight's gonna be surreal, I think. As soon as midnight hits, I'm turning my phone off because every time somebody watches the film, it'll send me a, an email uh, update and I know that either I'll be going nuts waiting for the next ding, or I'll be stressing out not hearing a ding for a while. So I'm just going to turn it off and hope when I wake up in the morning or the afternoon or two days from now, whatever it is when we catch up on our sleep from the past three years, that, uh, that there's a lot of ding, dings on my email. Um, I, I want to thank everybody that has been a part of this for the last three years. Even the people that have managed to somehow, some way, get onto the shit list of the film and, and everything. The, 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 the small parts done by many have led to a, a great deal of success for all. Um, thank you, everybody. Three years of dealing with my shit all comes down to tonight, and I hope in the next week, many of you that have judged us, criticized us, supported us, believed in us, no matter what feelings you've had about us personally along the way, in a week from now, I, I really hope it all makes sense on why we've fought so hard and been so determined to go this road. I'm going to leave you with this. Ironically enough, my first post that I saw on Facebook this morning was from a publicity girl that's one of the friend, my friends on, on Facebook and she posted an article about Miramax and Disney being sued by the English patient director for 20 million dollars because they continued a practice of on paper saying the English patient was in the negative and never never broke even to the point that profit sharing beyond Disney and, and Miramax took place. That's standard practice in Hollywood folks and whether you like me or hate me, that's what I'm protecting my investors from, and that's why we did what we did, and we've gone this road. Now we find out if we're right or not. Countdown to midnight has begun. That's it.